Logo Athletic and, uh, as a brand with a crazy history that I know nothing about because they, I don't see any, that logo, the little side logo on hats anymore. Mm-hmm. So I'm imagining they've either been acquired by a bigger brand or are just not around anymore. Um, Starter is another company that used to be, like if you see an old school starter piece, that's fire. If you see a starter piece that was made today in 2023, eh. You know, so it's also, I think, an interesting history. Any insight you have on either of those two companies? Yeah, I starter um starter is a pioneering company definitely in uh sports team wear. Um they were one of the earliest companies to think about team wear as merchandise. They were one of the first companies to recognize that grown people might actually want to wear clothing with their their team on it. And they made a lot of money in a hurry, but they went out of business just as fast um, because of, I think, just the history of licensing. The more money that you, the more money that you have, the more money there is to lose. Yeah. And, um, and you can't defend your, your market share forever. But uh, I think that, that that company, probably more than any single company, I think their history is really a history of of uh, team wear, uh, the infancy, especially of team yeah. wear in this country. Yeah, and now it seems like it's fanatics. Fanatics is t- is taking fanatics. Uh, wow, fanatics taking over. Michael Rubin, he's booming out here. I know they just they find a way to keep making the product worse, but keep selling it for more money. <laughs> um, <laughs> But that's, that's good for us. Yeah. <laughs> right. That's good for us. That's, hey, that's good. That's good business for fanatics, man. They're doing something it's good right. Good for fanatics. Yeah. It's good for me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, making it for cheaper, selling it for more. I know. I, I think it's interesting, too. You have, uh, and I don't know all of them, but a lot of these companies, they just, they just kept changing names. And they weren't always, they didn't even always change hands, but they changed names a lot. Um, Logo Athletic was logo seven prior to that mm, so you'll see that okay. also on some earlier pieces yeah um 40 47 brand that's um i believe that that was twins i think that that's twins enterprises oh, okay um 47 and, and twins yeah you see that a lot now well 47 is i think new era bought 47. did they buy that too i i see a lot of 47 in new era and twins was was the company i believe that that initially started bootlegging uh, satin jackets outside Fenway Park, and that's, I think, where uh, Starter got its inspiration to become the company that it became. Um, so these companies, some of them, they sound new, but they've been around. Mm. Wow, interesting stuff, man. Forty Seven Brands probably been around since Forty Seven, if I had to guess. Like I said right. earlier, I'm not a historian, but my guess would be that that company's been around since Forty Seven. Right. 